water, H2O, warmed ice. Whatever you call it, California's farmers are running out fast. And after three years of drought, they're turning to surprising methods to find more. Can I get some more water, please? Thirsty? They're called dowsers, and they claim to have supernatural water-finding powers. Thanks to climate change, desperate farmers have them booked solid. I'm booking out, you know, three to four weeks in advance. I thought it was bullshit, yeah. but it's worked for me. It really does sound like bullshit. So why do people believe in this? Is dehydration playing tricks with their minds? To find out, I headed for drought-plagued California to meet one of these water witches, or dowsers. I'm Larry Bird, and I do dowsing. Larry Bird. Hey, who said white men can't douse? No, I can't. No? OK. Yeah. All right, OK. It's not really a joke. You know, the lack of water is it's really not a fun thing. Rivers are drying up. Yeah. And my name's on the line. It's not really your name on the line, Larry Bird. But Larry's right about climate change. Last summer, 3% of California was facing extreme or exceptional drought. This summer, it's up to 88%. So it makes sense that desperate farmers are turning to Larry Bird, the great wet hope. But how exactly does this work? Once you're on water, it's, it's like it's got its own current, for its own frequency. You felt like some kind of static electricity is, that's actually backfiring and coming off that water. My rod over here tells me I'm over something. See, this one doesn't move, but this one does. Yeah. You can just tell where the rods open up. Actually, you feel uh, energy flowing right through your body. It has a tingly situation. Are you sure you don't just have to use the bathroom? <laughs> no. Did you go before we left? While Larry took a tinkle, I investigated a bit further. Groundwater expert Ben Freck. I'm not going to call anybody's profession bullshit. So you're saying it's not bullshit? It has no scientific basis. A hydrogeologist uh, can bring a lot of tools uh, to the situation, such as a proton magnetic resonance. When they essentially put a electrical current into mm -hmm. an aquifer and they gauge that current's um, reaction to the water molecule. Yes, electric current. That's what the dowsers are doing. Well, hydrogeologists bring a practical and methodical method to locating and extracting groundwater compared to a dowser, mm -hmm. um, which uses um, a stick. They would refer to it as a, as a rod. Okay. But Farmer John says these so-called scientists are the real scammers. I've had guys with, with that drill wells come out and look for it. I spent money and didn't find no water. I dug four or five of them. It was $15,000. $15,000? Yeah, but Larry Bird found me water. He did? Three times. Downtown! <laughs> what would you say to a California farmer with a handlebar mustache who says that dowsing has worked for him many times? These are folks who usually are doing this in the same area. They get to know the land. They get to know what works. Um, mm -hmm. They're probably applying a certain level of scientific method to what they're either knowingly doing or unknowingly doing. So these are unknowing scientists, possibly. Potentially. Is this science? I'm making a science out of it. You make it a science. Be more specific. Uh, you know, geologists can look at soil. They can look at gravel. They can say, well, you know, this water should be here. But dowsing is an art that goes clear back to uh, Egyptian time, Chinese time, early years of they would use reeds or whatever. Larry might not be a science expert and he definitely isn't a history expert, but he might be an archaeologist as the one thing he could find was a fossil. See that rod moving right there? That's a tooth, a tooth, a tooth, a tooth, and a tooth, and a tooth. Uh, what is that, a stingray that looks like that? Yeah, you found a stingray. He's putting off energy of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, well, 90, 100, 150, 60, 70, 80, 180, 1, 2, 3. Whoa. What are you doing right now? I'm actually counting the energy that's coming off of him. His From energy, the dead stingray? His energy is 180. 180 what? Uh, energy what, units. Uh, it's a current. It's just a current. OK, great. So we found a stingray. What about water? But Larry says water isn't the only thing he's had a close encounter with. I've doused all over the world, and Stonehenge, you know, they're missing uh, what's there. It's actually a um, antenna system that goes right into Stonehenge. Antenna system. Human? No, not ours. Non-human antenna system. Yeah. Aliens? They're all over the world. Are you telling me that buried around the Earth are multiple alien antenna systems? Spaceships. How many? Thousands. Thousands. 
What do you say to dowsers who claim that their methods work because they've found over 200 wells in a few alien spacecraft? I don't know how to respond to that. So what do you believe is under Stonehenge? Uh, dirt, rock, maybe some water. I had to agree. Sensing water under the ground is one thing, but alien spaceships? It all seemed too crazy until I found out that fake Larry Bird is making real Larry Bird paychecks. Oh, I'd say 500 on the average. You make $500 to wander around a field until you have to pee and then say, dig here? Yeah. You know what? You're genius, man. $500. I guess it was time to stop being a fake journalist and start being a fake water witch. Just one question. How quickly could Larry teach me to use his racks on racks on racks rods? As soon as we come to the water line, your rod should open one way or the other or move one way or the other. Oh, now see, now mine's moving there. I'm definitely sensing a metal okay. rod in my hand. Okay, you got, you got a little there? something. Yeah, that way. Why going, is it going towards you? Though? I don't know, but that's okay. You're I over suck at this!